All right, let's start off with a big happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Um, today is May 12th, so this is the watch this video for Monday, May 13th. Another uh, sell-off in the SPY and a nice reversal. Um, Friday actually kind of engulfing Thursday's range, but with the headline risk out there, um, tariff-wise, all that stuff, uh, I, I've said this before, I've said this a lot lately, um, there's headline risk for both sides. There's no slam dunk long or short, so all you can do is trade it, and that's what we're doing. All right, so um, here's what I'll be watching for Monday. I'll bring up some charts here. M-A-X-R. Gap down, but then right up back to the top of this range here, so I still want to keep an eye on that one. An interesting candle on Friday. A-W-S-M. Pretty big volume day for that one. Closing well off its highs. It, it topped out at 324 before closing right at 299. I watched this thing trade. I never traded it on Friday. Um, and it's pretty whippy, so certainly, whoops, certainly want to be careful with it if it sets up. EARS, there's nothing really compelling here other than, <coughs> excuse me, a recent reverse split right here. You can see the one for 20. And it's, it's had, I'm going to switch to a different time frame here. Let's choose like 30 minute candles just so you can see why this is even interesting to me. All right, so there is the uh, the day it did the reverse split. Um, and look at some of these spikes it made. Um, from the 30 minute candles, this one went from 440 to 612 and then even kept going all the way to 650, um, even though this one doesn't look big, 480 to 566. Um, and even late in the day on Friday, and I was watching this one most of the day for another spike like this. Um, you went from 461 to 558 before giving a lot of it back. I'll show you that on five minute candles now. Um, you know what? As a day trader, until it loses these recent lows, um, I'm going to keep an eye on it for potential setups. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe it's, it's, it's got support now and the next logical move is up. I, I don't know, but I'm going to have it on a chart. Gene, big move on Friday, closing off of its highs, but still a pretty strong move. I want to watch that one, maybe a red to green or something like that. Overstock OSTK had this big volume day on Thursday and then an inside day on Friday. The whole number 14 might get involved. Um, Friday's high is 1393. So if we break Friday's high, 1394, we might just push right through 14. And then just above that is 1418, which is Thursday's high. So this is a pretty clean chart setup. Also kind of a tough trader, but I like the setup there in Overstock. WPRT, um, big breakout. Uh, I believe on earnings on Friday, closing really strong. So let's keep our eyes on that one. Uh, SUNW, another red day, uh, declining volume again. Kind of hanging out, getting close to the middle of that buy zone area we talk about a lot. Um, potential bounce on uh, on Monday. Um, BYND, Beyond Meat, uh, recent IPO. IPO'd and it, on opening day, it went from a low of 45 all the way to 72.95. And you can see over the next few days made its way up over 85. Well, now we've got three days in a row um, from over 85 to at one point on Friday, all the way down to 61.60. Um, that alone should tell you this thing can move both ways, right? So it's dangerous. So certainly want to watch your position size if you trade it. But with, with one of my favorite bounce play setups, and we'll see if it happens on Monday, um, you know, we might get a two, three, four dollar move. So I, I definitely think this is worth having on a chart. Um, Tigger, T-I-G-R. I'm a little disappointed in myself because if you watch the video going into Friday, I guess I made it on Thursday night, Tigger looked like this, T-I-G-R, right? Um, looked like this. And I said, what I'd like to see is another down day and take out all time lows. Um, maybe even the whole number eight, but I think I said take out all time lows, which would be below 807. And then I would look for a reversal. Okay, so here's the daily candle. What happened? Took out all time lows and then reversed nicely. And the reason I'm a little annoyed is I never, never took a trade. Um, and it even had that kind of downside potential final push down shape that we teach, right? Um, never got involved. It goes back on watch because now that it's hit all time lows and it's fallen really pretty quickly, pretty far to get there. Um, I'm still going to look for a, a snapback bounce on Monday. And I'm going to give you another example of this. And this isn't on my watch list, but it, it's just a, it, it's a good mindset to have when trading. And a lot of people don't think this way. So hopefully this might help you trade if you're struggling at all. Um, JMIA did the same thing, right? Recent IPO, huge move, then a lower high, and then just fell off the face of the earth. I think Citron had a hit piece on him or something. I don't know anything about the company. I don't know anything about the financials. 
Um, but look what happens. It had fallen from like 48 all the way to come down and take out this 1826 opening day low, right? It went down to 1813 and a massive snapback bounce. Very similar to what I was looking for uh, in TIGR, right? Um, I'm not looking to trade this one. I don't. The news on it scares me, and uh, you know, it's, it just feels too risky. And this is a very whippy trader, a lot whippier than TIGR. But it's another good example of when something has to go really far in a very short period of time to take out recent lows, or conversely, really far um, to the upside to take out recent highs. The high odds play is a reversal after that happens. All right. So I want everybody to understand that. Instead, you know, as a rookie, you might be thinking, ooh, when it breaks to all-time lows, it's going to tank. Well, you got to you gotta look at how far it's come over what period of time. And this thing had fallen so far, um, it's very dangerous to be shorting down here. The high odds play, obviously, would be getting long. And no, I didn't trade JMIA, JMIA either, but it's, uh, you know, it reminds me a lot of that Tigger setup I just showed you. All right, and then lastly, I'm going to go with ABIO. Uh, I don't love this one. It's a very thin, whippy trader, but it had this huge move, and then it put in a lower high, and then a couple red days. Um, I'd like to see another red day. I'd like it much more in this area, so I'll keep my eyes on it all week. I doubt that I'll take a trade in it um, on Monday, but you know what? That's plenty to watch uh, when you add to the fact that we'll add some you know, gappers in the morning to this list. There should be plenty to trade. Um, again, enjoy your Mother's Day, and uh, we'll see everybody on Monday.